Hi guys, I am Miro from Cognicore AI, and today we're diving into the newly released Hydream E1 image editing model. Built on the Hydream i1 we covered in the last video, this model needs 28 steps and only supports 768 by 768 resolution, which is a bit low. They mentioned it's under active development with frequent updates on the horizon, so let's see what it can do. They've shared instructions to get it running with their Gradio, but Comfy UI just added native support. So we'll test it there. Here it shows what this model can do. So it can change to different styles, replace objects, add things, remove things, add text, change text, etc. Let's jump in and get this running in Comfy UI. First, I will set up my pod. I'll go with an RTX A6000, bump the storage to 80 gigabytes, expose port 3001, and deploy the pod. Once it's deployed, I'll click connect and link through port 8888. Now, I'll install Comfy UI. If you want to install Comfy UI on RunPod fast, check my video in the I button. I shared an automatic installer that handles all the setup in one click. Boom, now I've got Comfy UI up and running, so let's move on to downloading the models. I've got a super fast automatic downloader script for you guys, which you can grab from the description. Upload it to your workspace, run the command from the description, and it'll start pulling all the models we need at lightning speed. Look at that. It's downloading the Hydream E1 model. Then the text encoders and VAE. It uses the same text encoders and VAE as Hydream I1. Once the download finishes, it'll show where the files are stored and what was downloaded. They're in the Comfy UI models folder. So let's move them to their correct folders. The four text encoders go in the text encoder folder, the VAE goes in the VAE folder, and Hydream E1 goes in the Diffusion Models folder. Now I open Comfy UI through port 3001. The Comfy UI native workflow for this model is on the Comfy UI examples blog. I'll drag this image into Comfy UI, and it loads the workflow. I like swapping the Save Image node with a Preview Image node so I can choose what to save. I'll set the steps to 30 and make sure the models are set correctly in the nodes. Let's upload our first image and start testing this model. Here's our first image. Let's try changing her hair to curly. I'll add, make her hair curly in the positive prompt and hit run. Check the terminal. It's loading the models. Let's also install NVTOP to monitor VRAM usage. Right now, it's at 25 gigabytes. Now it's generating the image, and VRAM is peaking at 45 gigabytes. Same as Hydream i1. Here's our first image. It's a bit deformed, but the hair is curly. Let's run it again for a better result. This time, we've got a good one. Now let's change her hair color to blue. Bam, she's got blue hair now. I'll drag this load image node here so we can compare edits side by side. Let's try making it nighttime. It's night now, but the background changed a bit. Still a decent result. Let's switch to another image and replace the text on this signboard with High Dream E1. Hmm, it didn't work. Let's check the examples for prompts. I use a write this on format. I'll adjust the prompt and try again. This time, it wrote high dream, but missed E1. One more try. Still no luck. Okay, let's test another image. Let's remove this black cat. Whoa, now there's a weird glowing mask on the cat. Back to the examples. They used a remove this format for this kind of edit. 
I'll drop black from my prompt and run it again. This time, it removed the cat but left a blurry mask. Let's try changing the season to spring. Oh boy, that didn't work. And what's with the cat? Let's change the color of her dress to red instead. Perfect. Nailed it. I'll test another image. Let's replace this basket with a bucket. The examples use a replace this with that format, so I'll type that in and hit enter. Nice, we've got a bucket now. Let's make the bucket blue. Yep, works perfectly. Now let's remove this bottle. Spot on. That worked too. For our final image, let's put sunglasses on her. Oof, it's deformed. Let's try again. Boom, that looks awesome now. Let's remove her pendant. Hmm, it didn't remove it. It swapped it for another pendant. One more go. This time, it removed the pendant. Now let's play with styles. First, I'll try a cartoon style. Decent, but let's see if we can do better. This one's about the same. Next, Ghibli style. Oh, this looks weird. Let's run it again. Not quite Ghibli. Finally, Disney Pixar style. Nailed it on the first try. Looks amazing. So that's it for testing this model. It's a bit hit or miss right now to get the results you want. Since it's under active development, I'm stoked to see better results in future releases. As I mentioned on their GitHub, it only supports 768 by 768 resolution. So we've got a node to crop images to that size. And the outputs are 768 by 768 too. Kind of low, but you can easily upscale them if needed. All the images I used here were generated with Hydream i1 full at a 1024, then cropped to 768 by 768. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe to my channel for more automatic installers to streamline your workflows and save you time. That's all for this video. I'm Nero, and I'll see you in the next one.